stifling temperatures and no power made for a miserable start to the day for some Brooklyn residents. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch is in the mobile weather lab in Crown Heights with more on that. Vanessa? Well, Christine, thankfully, right now, most of the users here in Crown Heights have their power back on. But crews, Con Ed crews, nearly 20 hours after the power went out, are still here on the scene on this, the second day of what we expect to be the first heat wave of 2015. Now, most New Yorkers we spoke to are taking the soaring temperatures in stride. But for those who woke up this morning to no power, no AC, well, the smiles you see don't mean they're happy. One of the hottest days of the year. Please, Con Edison, help us, please. Ted White is one of more than 800 Con Ed customers along Union Street who went most of the steamy summer night without power. It's an experience Stuart Fink describes as unbearable. In fact, I, I had no choice in the middle of the night. I had to go to my brother in law's house to sleep. For business owners, restoring power means preserving their bottom line. I have a computer company over here. I can't open my door, my garage, my electricity. My whole business is shut down. We're losing money. Owner of the Albany Bakery, who didn't want to go on camera, says this latest power outage is ridiculous. He's losing money and customers, and it's the second outage in two weeks. Con Edison spokesperson Michael Clendenin tells us getting electricity back up and running is their priority. Our goal during heat waves like this is to try to keep the outages small in number, short in duration, by noon, Con Ed did get the power back on for most. How are things going now? Much cooler. And business is once again booming. Meanwhile, not far away at the Prospect Park Farmer's Market, the produce stays perky despite the heat, and the fish is fresh. As for the fishmonger... You know what? I'm doing okay. I just got to uh, just take it a little bit slower. You know, I let him do most of the work, the young guy. <laughs> I am hot. It is really warm with maybe a tiny bit of wind. Sojourner's story tells us that tiny bit of wind sure does help, but still. It is killer out here. I wish it was at least, at least 70. All right, so the point today is, is it hot out here? My legs are burning from the asphalt. From the mobile weather lab, we can see right here, right now in Crown Heights, it's 94.3 degrees. The heat index, a whopping triple digit, just dropped down to 99, was at 100. As we look forward, we know that there's more heat to come, likely more power outages as well. But there is good news tonight from Crown Heights. Fewer than 50 customers in all of Brooklyn are without power, and 30 customers in the Bronx are without power this evening. So we wish them uh, luck finding a very cool place to go. The cooling centers are open and the pools are open until 8 o'clock tonight. We're live in Crown Heights with the Mobile Weather Lab this evening. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Vanessa, thank you. It